Yo, YouTube, what's good, Ategas? In this video, I'm going to be discussing a very popular topic amongst mages. Uh, I've been asked in my stream, my Discord, DMs, all this kind of stuff. Like, I'm getting trained by warriors, like, or, you know, any other melee class. And a lot of people are struggling to rotate their mobility correctly into these classes because there is a correct and incorrect way to rotate your mobility. So the first thing I guess that we can cover real quick is what exactly do you have uh, in your toolkit as a mage uh, to be able to rotate. So as you can see, we have, uh, let me just get in here. We have a couple tools. So for one, we have uh, Shimmer. Shimmer is going to be a big one. So we have Shimmer. Uh, that one is basically your blink. You can blink. It's going to be off the global. So you can pair a cast with this. And most of the time you are going to pair a cast. Just to show you what I mean by pair a cast, we can probably watch just even a couple seconds in the game. I'd probably do it. Slow, running away from him. Ring of fire. Fireball. And I pair a cast with that, right? So uh, or I pair the cast with my shimmer. So I'm, com I'm kind of accomplishing two things at once here. Um, I'm making distance and still able to counter pressure or land the CC if that were to be a polymorph. Um, so I'm accomplishing two things at once with my shimmer charge. Uh, so that's very, very important. Next, we can see uh, another option here. So another option that we have, Alter Time, Shimmer. We have both of our roots, um, Ice Nova and Regular Nova. And then we also have Blast Wave, uh, a Blast Wave. Um, so that's gonna be pretty much it in terms of utility. Uh, you can use DB as a little bit of a gap closer too, sometimes. And then also one thing I wanna uh, note is that Barrier can remove any snares. So you can see here that like, a hamstring that you have on you, like here, uh, this is gonna like reduce your movement speed. You can actually take that off with barrier. So you can see when I barrier here, um, it actually removed the hamstring and now I can move full speed. So basically the important part of this video that I kind of wanted to explain uh, now that we've been over the essentials is it's also very important to know what your enemies have uh, at your disposal because if you're not tracking when their mobility is up or if you're not fully tracking all of their mobility then it can seem like they have uh, more than they really do so for example what i mean is you can see the cooldowns here i track for warrior um so you can see like it's kind of a lot right but this is all very valuable information wow is a game of information so you can see that the warrior has two charges and leap. Um, by the way, for if you guys are wondering, this is S Arena add-on, uh, This the frames here. And then for the cooldowns, this portion here, this is Gladius EX. If you want, I have a guide uh, in my Discord and on my YouTube. It's uh, just Google or just go to my educational. Maybe I'll even leave it in the comments. Um, but either way, it can be found in the Discord channel, uh, which will be found in the description but yeah like i was saying you want to be tracking all of their mobility options i track extra stuff as well like cc options um defensive options and uh bladestorm is another important one because they can get out of novas with bladestorm um but yeah this goes for any class not just warrior warriors the example we have pull up here obviously but um yeah all right so as we can see in the video, this is a nice uh, cocoon, but basically the name of the game is just trying to get this warrior to have as little uptime on me as possible. So you can see a very common thing that I do here. Let me back it up just a second. Um, one thing I'll do commonly is when I blast wave, I'll follow that up with an ice nova because that will ensure that they are rooted far away from you and they can't get back in range right away to get into charge range. So you have that little nova to either apply slow, which is what I did here. And then I can make distance walking the other direction. And now he's not really in range to charge me. He would have to commit a heroic leap to get to me, which I can see that he has. So I'm ready if he does that. Um, now I can see what options I have. I have, uh, waiting for this thing to go away. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, so I have uh, one shimmer charge, which I commit here. And then because I have two shimmer charges, I noticed so you can see I have another one off cooldown. Um, my plan in my head is that when he gets to me, I'll alter time and then likely use that second shimmer charge if needed to avoid the purges from the priest. Um, and then obviously he will be able to connect to me with this during charge. So 
likely what I would be trying to do is look to blink in a direction like around this pillar if so that he wouldn't have a uh, LOS on me or I would blink away with the intent of him charging me um, and then when I altered back he would have to use another uh, charge and since alter time would give you another uh, shimmer then you would be ahead on the mobility trade so that's kind of like a concept that i want to get through your guys' head is like the mobility trade for example as you guys could have seen in the thumbnail uh it's just like charge shimmer second charge alter shimmer heroic leap alter back now you're extremely ahead but this is an example of the warrior using mobility poorly um and puts you ahead on the on the uh whatever you call it the mobility trade so you can see that's exactly what happens i alter i can see the priest isn't really trying to purge me so i don't make an effort to blink away on this um i'm actually like greeting a shimmer charge here uh i think i actually do end up getting purged so i don't think that was good let me see Yeah, he purges my altar, so mistake by my end. Uh, you can see I made a mistake here, clearly. I even said before the clip even played out that I should have used a shimmer charge to blink over here to avoid the purges. Um, but now, so I made that little bit of a mistake. Lock the priest. So now I'm cutting back in line of my healer. I do the blast wave uh, ice nova. He does get the, the charge off, but it's not really an issue here because now I blink away. I couldn't actually get it off before. It's fine. I healer is not in cc so he's gonna be able to, to top me up here right now i do have two shimmer charges i go for one fake two fakes he's not uh giving me the precog i notice that he pops cooldowns here now so what i do is i just commit a shimmer charge with it um you don't just want to like sometimes if they don't have cooldowns on you you can go for those precogs to try to create what I call like kind of artificial distance, which is distance that you create without committing any options. AKA, if I could have um, committed, or if I could have juked that warrior right there and then sheeped him, I could have made distance without using shimmer, which would have forced him to <clears throat> use a charge to start the interaction with me. And then I would still have both of my shimmers rather than me blinking away from him and then he, uh, the warrior charging me and then me having to use another shimmer in response to that um, if that makes any sense so I get some distance I have to commit a shimmer charge for it like I said because he had a rec proc he charges me again but it's no uh, worry because uh, that was his last charge as you can see and he doesn't have leap so I know I can commit this last shimmer charge here uh, and be completely fine off of it so I go ahead and do that he blade storms so this is uh pretty bad now because i have no mobility i have no shimmer um no shimmer charges for 18 seconds no altar for 20 seconds my blast waves on cooldown i do have my root but he's blade storming uh, i have my db but like i said he's blade storming so i'm gonna take some damage here which is um fine there are gonna be windows where this happens obviously my barrier i'm just kind of now i db him i'm not gonna break it right away i'm gonna wait to get around the pillar and then I should apply a slow to him. I should have probably been a slow global. So there it is. And now, like I said, uh, he has no mobility. So I'm going to try to use this time, this little downtime where he has no charge, no leap to create some like distance from him. So that next time when he comes to me, uh, he'll have to commit one of those. So I scorch off the reflect, apply another slow. He's trying to get to me without committing his charge because he knows that he would be behind on mobility if he did that. Got a hyper proc, so I'm just blasting. Again, he's still trying to greet his mobility here. He uses charge. My shimmer comes off cooldown. So I pair a tender fireball with it. Uh, uh, blink backwards and bust. And he uses heroic leap to come and fear me. And then he is now going to hit the pillar on the rest of the combust. But you can see this is actually a really winning interaction. Most people would be like, oh, I got feared on my bust here, man. Like, crap. But it's actually not the case. Uh, the warrior used a charge and a leap, like I said, so no more leap. He's got one charge coming up in like a couple seconds. Uh, but you can see after he feared me, he like leapt, feared me, and then ran back to the pillar. So he just created a lot of distance for me to work with, which is really good. So now you can see I'm not I'm not gonna like run into them and run on the pillar because that's what he wants me to do. He wants me to commit options so that he can just connect on me instead i slow him and i start cutting him out notice he has bolt here 
So there's two things you could do. You always want to see when they have bolt, right? You always want to be aware of when they have a storm bolt. There is two options that you could have done. Um, since I'm behind on mobility, um, I'm actually opting to just go ahead and trade my altar for this one. Another option could have been, uh, like I said, he has bolt. So I know for I know that I have altar and I know that I have meld. Um, meld would only be good though if I had like ways to get away from him after he bolts me. And like I said, I don't have mobility, so I'm just going for the alter time angle. So I'm just going to pre-alter this bolt coming up. Yep, so you can see it in the air. Um, <clears throat> let me go back here. So this is another weak aura, by the way. It shows you to the left of their nameplate, kind of like the global that they're pressing, right? So you can see when he presses it, this is how I can tell. I see the storm bolt, and since I've... Uh, already knew he had it because I'm looking at the cooldowns pretty much the whole game like uh, I'm looking at their cooldowns a lot throughout the game uh, like I said I was anticipating this storm bolt instead of uh, altering you can see I press alter right but what I actually did uh, did here was I double pressed my alter to give me a shimmer charge back the reason why I did this was because the priest you can see is just free casting on me um, he's just standing here. He's gonna just purge my altar if I do it. I only have one buff um, The only purgeable uh, Purge protection I have is an arcane intellect. So I know that if I pre Alter this storm bolt, it's just gonna get purged. So I quickly as it's in the air Double press my altar to grant me another shimmer charge and then since he come since he used a charge um, Since he actually used charge here And storm bolt I know that if I blink away from this, it won't. He won't be able to connect on the Stormbolt suit. So I'll play it out here. I double uh, alter. And then I shimmer. And this actually creates a distance on the Stormbolt now, and he has no options to connect to me, right? So this is good. Remember, he still has that slow up. That's very important. Now I can get the double root off of it, go back to counter pressuring, actually land a sheep right there. Blast wave him while he has reflect up, probably go for the ice nova off, and then you can see that kind of filled the gap of the um, reflect. You could, there's like a couple options with the reflect too, you could counter spell it to give yourself precog, but I don't think that's uh, worth it in this scenario. I want to save my counter spell for the pre leave CC, and I also didn't want to waste my fire blast charges because uh, I don't really have that big of damage right now with no combustion and no ring of fire down. So, um, I just opt to wait it out, keeping my distance here. I knew he had a charge coming up. I commit a shimmer. Uh, we get pain suppression and parry. He still can't get to me. He does have a charge uh, at this point, so I get to slow up on him again. And I do have DB. Like what I'm looking at here is I have DB uh, with no DR on him. I could DB him here. A shimmer charge just came up as well, so I have shimmer now. Uh, I have a lot of options here that I could do could do root shimmer is a good combination i opt to just shimmer i probably should have rooted though uh, it's just good because you can see i have two of them basically so would have been good he wouldn't have been able to intervene his priest there like he did luckily i still do have my blast wave if i need it off to nova him there and cs the priest bolt this was actually a mistake by me i should have melded this i think i was tunnel visioning a little bit too much on some other stuff but yeah i should have melded this to get my trinket for it um which means i'm not going to be able to trinket the upcoming warrior fear on my combustion so like i said mistake on mine but i scorch off that reflect this is blade storm blade storm is a really uh important thing that you got to remember i always forget about it and they always close the gap on me you can see i'm bringing him into any open space i can just to avoid these blade storm ticks he hamstrings me Blast wave him off me. Spear, and then I know I'm about to take a lot of damage here. Uh, the priest is right on top of me. He's going to spam purge me, my altar. So what I do is I alter back. I should alter back like right there. Okay. So yeah, I did read that a little bit, honestly. Uh, but luckily my monk comes in clutch with the cocoon. I dragon's breath him to create some distance. And now I notice at this point uh, that the warrior has all his... He has all his options back. So we're back to like square one now, right? And I only have one shimmer, no altar. He leap charges me. Uh, 
And that's a really good combination here for us because he commits it like this is a two for one win for us. He has to use leap and charge just to connect to me. Um, so I should be able to out mobility him off this. We'll see what I do. So I Nova him uh, with Ice Nova, put a slow up on him. And that creates a little bit of distance here where he can't exactly attack me. He bolts me, still haven't melded a single bolt this game. I'm trash. Nova him, create some distance. Fireball, bust, that's a very nice ROP. Charges into the ROP even better for me. Uh, he was trying to charge me to there uh, to fear it. Um, so very good that he couldn't get that off. And you can see I have double shimmer charge here, right? But I'm not double shimmering in there trying to like kick the penance and like end the game. Um, yeah, you don't really want to be doing that too much. You can do it if you have like alter. You could alter, like you could leave your location here. And then if the priest is like playing right here behind this pillar, yeah, this is the priest, then maybe you could start the fireball cast on him when he peeks out. You can blink into them so that the fireball goes off and then uh, pump a little bit of instant cast into him. And then maybe when these guys start targeting you, that's when you would alter back. Um, you can use alter aggressively like that. I think it's good to do that on your combustions sometimes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you just want to pick and choose when you would make a play such as that one. Um, but yeah, you can see here I'm back to kiting the warrior. He gets a mount off, so I slow him. I'm always spamming slows on melees, pretty much. Um, this priest is drinking, I look to go and stop it. But you can see I'm not committing a shimmer charge. Uh, or I'm not like double shimmering. I do shimmer DB it. I'll have to hit him off of it. Should have put up a uh, slow on him. That was a mistake on my end. Reslowed the warrior there. Uh, he does have bolt and double charge. Wow, I just can't meld a bolt to save my life this game, apparently. Um, that was a good disarm. Blast wave Nova into Shimmer. Into slow. He blade storms it. I Nova him as soon as he exits blade storm, and then his priest dispels him. As you can see, he uh, gets the spell out. Now I re-slow him, and notice how he doesn't have a hamstring on me, because I removed it with my barrier a couple globals earlier. So you can see here I removed my, my barrier. And then I go ahead and use my second Nova, which is half DR, but it gives me that distance to where now he's going to have to commit his second uh, his second charge to connect to me. And I have the tools to respond to that, because I have um, Alter and Shimmer, so I should be fine. To be able to kite this guy next option he uses on me I'll, i'm gonna make sure to alter first so like if i were to for example if this warrior were to charge me right now um what i would do is i would alter immediately and i would probably blink uh you know away away from the priest too because you don't want to get purged um yeah so you don't want to like wait to alter right because you want to alter at the highest amount of health that you can let's say the warrior charges you and you don't alter right away and he maybe mortal strikes you for like i don't know 80k or something and then you alter here which is what i see a lot of mages doing uh they kind of mistime their alters a little bit um you always just want to try to alter as at high health as you can so that's just you know, as soon as they commit that melee or that uh, mobility option, you probably ascend it if you're full health. You can see the, the warrior gives up, going me completely, and decides to go my monk, who has every single cooldown in the entire book. Um, because this warrior just got so frustrated trying to train the mage that he just gave up completely, and then he ends up just dying. So, yeah, I hope this video proved to be useful. Um, I really want to help. The mages out there learn how to kite and use their defenses better because while living defensively on mage is not easy right now especially especially with glass cannon um i like to believe that there's a lot of stuff that you guys out there could be doing like i said i'm not i don't live in like 100 percent of scenarios right like i definitely die on my mage a lot um having 20 percent less hp than any uh, everyone else is not very fun and then also having uh, being like a cloth target who has which basically means we have no armor versus any of the other classes and <clears throat> we don't really have any like self-healing like a lock has a soul link and soul leech and all these other like passive um kind of reductions mage is more avoiding the damage in the first place by making sure that you're using 
uh, your mobility, utility, and CC to make sure that no one can kind of touch you in the first place, right? So it kind of takes um, tracking the right cooldowns and knowing when they have them and having a game plan ahead of time for when those options get committed instead of being like oh shit the warrior charged me he left me like he charged me again like man why does it feel like this guy has infinite you know mobility instead being like okay there's the first charge uh how can i trade my cooldowns while staying ahead so maybe you know he commits one charge on me i don't want to commit two shimmers now because while that will get you some distance you're going to be behind uh on the trade because you've just committed two shimmers for one charge you know what i mean like you you want to just think about it more methodically um and in terms of the cooldowns instead of just uh you know the other <laughs> the other way i don't know what i'm trying to say now but uh anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said um leave a comment uh if you have any questions join the discord for any add-on uh, if you guys watched the video and you were like Man, I have a question on this add-on. I have a full UI guide and all of my exports for all my add-ons in my Discord. So check it out. That's all I got. Peace. Peace, peace.